According to reports, Kylian Mbappe recently informed the France national team that he only wants to be called up for the most important games. Apparently, his priority is to win the 2025 Ballon d'Or, so he wants to avoid any risk of getting injured. Of course, this was some really shock news on its own, especially coming from the captain. But wait till you find out that this is a part of a much larger scheme. In this video today, we'll be telling you how France's best player, Curse, has caught up with Mbappe. First of all, it's a general consensus that Kylian Mbappe is France's best player. He has been since he made his debut in 2017. He pretty much carried them to the World Cup in 2018 and then carried them to a second consecutive final in 2022, where he single-handedly pulled off a comeback against Messi's Argentina and sent the game to penalties. He's only a few goals away from being France's all-time top scorer and he has the potential to retire as the greatest player to have ever represented the country. In international football, the best player is often made the captain, so it was no surprise when he became skipper after Hugo Lloris retired from international football. But now, it looks like that best player status might be Mbappe's undoing. You see, in the past, France's best player has always been at the center of huge controversy, whether it's the team's outright best player or one of the best players in the squad. And this is not even a recent development. We've been seeing it since the 80s. You remember what happened with Eric Cantona? When the coach Henri Michel dropped him from the squad, he went on live TV and called him a bag of shit. For that, he was immediately banned from the national team. And of course, he's not the only top French player to have cursed his coach out. Do you remember who the other guy is? Drop the name in the comments if you know it. Let's see who knows their football here. Anyway, Michel was sacked and replaced by Platini, who reintegrated Cantona into the squad. Then, in 1993, he was named France captain. You would think that it was happily ever after from there, but that armband seemed to carry a fresh curse all of its own. In 1995, Cantona infamously kung fu kicked a fan during a Premier League game against Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park, and that led to him being slapped with a worldwide suspension by FIFA. Because of that incident, the coach stripped him of the captaincy and he never played a single minute for the national team ever again. Or maybe we should talk about Karim Benzema. We all know the story, don't we? At the 2014 World Cup, Benzema was France's best player and top scorer. But when everyone was looking forward to watching him lead the team to the 2016 Euros on home turf, the curse hit him. He was found to have been involved in a plot against his international teammate Matteo Valbuena, which led to him being indefinitely suspended from the national team. Because of that, he missed out on reaching the Euro final in 2016 and winning the World Cup in 2018. He did return for the Euros in 2021 and we thought we would see one last dance at the World Cup, but although he went to the 2022 World Cup as the reigning Ballon d'Or winner and best player in the world, he didn't play a single minute because of injury. Days after the World Cup final, he retired from international football. Again, the curse had hit. Well, at least, unlike Benzema, Paul Pogba actually got to win the World Cup before his own curse hit. Pogba won the Young Player Award at the 2014 World Cup and was one of France's best players when they won the thing in 2018. But he wasn't having a good time with Manchester United at the time. He was being heavily targeted and scapegoated by the fans of the club day after day. And then he missed out on the 2022 World Cup because of a knee injury before his own controversy came in the form of a failed drugs test which forced him to sit out Euro 2024. Oh, and let's not forget the whole ugly drama with his brother who accused Pogba of using witchcraft to manipulate Mbappe because he wanted to be the main man in the team. Now can you see that this actually does feel like a curse? And you think that's all? You've seen nothing yet. We all remember the 2010 World Cup, don't we? One of France's worst international tournaments ever. They failed to win a single game and scored only one goal all tournament. It was a horror show. But the talk of the summer was the Nicolas Anelka controversy. Having already played for PSG, Arsenal, Real Madrid, Liverpool, Man City and Chelsea at the time, Anelka was easily one of the best and most experienced players in France's 2010 World Cup squad, so he was just the perfect candidate to receive the damning curse. 
During the half-time break of the group stage against Mexico, Anelka reportedly abused the coach Raymond Domenech using very strong language and for that, he was expelled from the team. The squad responded by refusing to go for training the following day in protest at Anelka's treatment, so it's no surprise that it was such a dreadful tournament for the French. Anyway, for what he did and his refusal to apologise afterwards, Anelka was handed an 18-game ban by the FFF, but he said that he was dying of laughter because he'd already made the decision to never play a game for France again. And honestly, we could really go on and on with instances like this. We have Samir Nasri, who capped in France for the first time in March 2011, and the following year, during the Euros, went on a tirade during an interview after a reporter asked him for his thoughts on the game. Nasri hurled abuse at the journalist using all sorts of language, and for that, the FFF punished him with a three-match ban. Nasri ended up retiring from international football two years later at just 27 years old. There are just too many examples of France's best player getting involved in some sort of controversy or misdemeanor, and it appears that it's finally caught up with Killian. Even the guys who are clean like Thierry Henry and Zizou still had their controversies on the pitch. Henri had the incident where he handled the ball in the World Cup qualifier against the Republic of Ireland, which led to him and his family receiving threats. And then of course you have Zidane, who pretty much let his whole country down at the 2006 World Cup final when he lost his head and got himself sent off for a massive headbutt on Marco Materazzi. Without him, France lost the game on penalties. Mind you, Mbappe has already let his country down once when he missed multiple chances during the round of 16 game against Switzerland at Euro 2020, and then ultimately missed the deciding penalty which saw them get booted out. That really rocked his relationship with the squad and the fans. But with his latest statement, it feels like things will only get worse. Apart from the fact that he reportedly asked the coach to only call him up for big games, Mbappe did something else that enraged the fans. He didn't go for this international break because, according to him, he was trying to recover from injury. But then he was spotted at a club in Sweden the same night France were taking on Israel in the Nations League. It felt like if he could travel from Madrid to Stockholm then, he could have travelled to Budapest where the game was played, to at least show some support to his teammates as the captain of the team. French fans were gutted. Will Mbappe's story with the national team end on a sour note like Benzema, Anelka, Nasri and the like? Or are you of the opinion that he's just too great for the fans to stay mad at him for too long? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.